sponsored by Winwing Technologies, replicates the real Viper's mechanical movement with full metal construction. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. On the 6th of September 1976, Lieutenant Victor Belenko, a pilot of the PVO based in Vladivostok, defected in one of the new defence fighters, the MiG-25 Foxbat, the only Soviet aircraft at the time capable of taking down the US SR-71 spy plane. He disappeared on a routine mission, and the next the Soviets knew, he had landed in Japan. It was not as easy as he thought it was going to be. He overran the runway and he damaged the plane. It was no longer airworthy. But the Japanese had an indispensable amount of data from the defection. Now, the defection itself was planned with the Japanese. So there was no shooting, there was no fighting. It was all organised and all mutual. But that's a little bit too easy. So we're going to do a fun reenactment. I've got my buddy RC here. Say hello, RC. Hello. We are going to go up in a flight of four MiG-25s. We're going to take off from here, the USSR. If it doesn't look like the USSR, then it's probably something to do with your eyes. We're going to fly across this sea here and land in Japan. Here, we're going to fly away from our AI buddies and defect myself and RC. RC is Victor and I am Belenko. The Japanese base at Osaka, where we're going to be landing, uh, this runway here, hasn't been told about the defection. So in our reenactment, they've got four 70 SAM sites pointing out in different directions that are going to defend that base. So we've got to get over to Japan without being shot by our own MiG-25 buddies, then beat our way through Japanese SAM system, and then go and try and land. To beat the SAM system, we need small, manoeuvrable fighters. One thing the MiG-25 Foxbat is not is a small, manoeuvrable fighter. So this probably isn't going to go very well. Before we set off, any predictions, RC? We're not going to make it. Welcome to the cockpit of the MiG-25. Now, if it looks like a MiG-31 Foxhound instead of a MiG-25, that's either because your eyes are very bad or because the MiG-25 model in DCS looks absolutely terrible, like original lock-on 20-year-old model. These are nice and sexy. So we're just going to do a bit of pretending, valued viewers, that these are actually MiG-25s. Uh, another question to you, do you prefer the MiG-25 Foxbat, the original, or do you prefer the MiG-31? Where are I'm, you? I'm right next to you, RC. I literally couldn't be any closer to you. Oh, you are? Okay. That's RC being deliberately obtuse, by the way, valued viewers. Yeah, this, this windscreen is um, really orange. It is orange, isn't it? I don't know of any way of yeah. doing it. I don't know why it's like that. That is ridiculous. I you don't like you don't like the orange, I'll see. Right. Well, maybe the real ones like that. Maybe it's not. I'll see. I just don't know. God, can these guys tax any further? There's a runway oh, right there. All the way to the other well, end. there was a runway right there, but they apparently they yeah. want to go all the way around the biggest runway uh, airport in the game. Well, at least we get to see lots of the Isra um, USSR Vladivostok or wherever we are. Look, it's two humps. My humps. My humps. My humps are on fire. We don't need no. Oh, however the song goes. The oh. roof is on fire. The roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let those burn. Burn, mother. Burn. I've had four hours with children today, RC, so I'm all fruity and weird. Oh, well, more than usual. Hello, Vladivostok. We're getting to see lots of Vladivostok today. Maybe we won't even get to take off. Maybe our allotted two hours will just be taxiing around the runway. Ooh, where's the brakes? Where's the brakes? Where's the brakes? Where's the brakes? There they are. Ah, I found them. Are you with us, RC, or have you got lost? Because I can't look yeah, back. Right. Because of the brilliant, uh, what do you call it? Wow, could you make an aircraft with any worse visibility? Try looking up. That's, it's got, a tiny, up it's got a tiny little dogfight hole. You've got to keep them right there for the dogfight. You know, I would actually know if we're in the rear seat or the front seat. I'm assuming, no, it must be the front seat, right? Oh, here we go, RC. They found a runway. <laughs> old, oh, old, um, oh, God, I can't think of any wrong, uh, Vladimir and Putin. I don't know what to call, I don't know what to call them. Are your air brakes down? Can you? No, I don't know. I say, how am I supposed to know? Where are the air brakes on this? I don't think so. Well, yes, I see. It looks like they are on all of them. No, that would be uh, that would be gear fairings. Hanging off the bottom of your... Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, look at those engines. Those are the whatever, whatever, whatever's. I would love to see one of these planes in real life, a MiG-25 or a MiG-31. Never going to happen, but. Up we go. God, they're heavy. They are so heavy. 
We seem to have it there. Yeah. Any idea how we know if our flaps are up or not? The uh, head position is so awkward. Are you finding that? Head position yes, value viewers is. is very awkward. It's one thing I've learned about MiG-25. Uh, are you low right now? Or are you going Yeah, low? and the guy going up and right is who we're following. He's AI lead until we uh, employ our sneaky little plan. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Where are they? I've lost. No, wait. These are cool. Whoops. These are cool looking planes. I think they turned right, didn't they? You know what? How doesn't help yeah. tracking these guys? The visibility. Yeah, I can't see shit. Oh, uh, we make the op a bow made out of giant steel gird. Right, we've got to go and fly with them for a bit to pretend that we're on their mission, I'll see. And then we're going to sneak off when I say so. The size of this thing. Okay, they are the R15 engines, apparently. Presumably massively optimized for high altitude. Here's a question for you, valued viewers. As far as I'm aware, high bypass ratio turbo fans are always very bad at high altitude. But these appear to be very high bypass ratio turbo fans that we have. Look at the size of the nozzles. Must be a massive bypass ratio on it. So how can... Uh oh How can it be... I've, oh. I've gone past. How can it be good at high altitude? Bye. Wow, it doesn't slow down, does it, RC? No, and I can't. <laughs> you, you'll need to slow down. Ideally, you'll slow down a little bit. Yeah, right. Problem so. is, I can't see you at all. Yep. I can, uh, that's a problem. Here. That's a Belenko problem. Yep, I can't see a thing. Wow, these planes must be so dangerous because it's got the situational awareness of a freaking Airbus or less. We've done lots of bad flying. Let's do some good flying. Let's get in formation. Or something. The value viewers are saying that they're turbojets and not turbofans. Now that would make a much more sense because a turbojet is good at high altitude, a turbofan isn't. That would make a lot more sense. Are you with us yet, RC? I'm with somebody. Right. I'll take that as a yes. Never had a plane like this that doesn't slow down this much. Oh, it's no, so painful. It you know what? We've done our best, Whoa. RC. Yes, RC, can I help you? Right. That guy is bouncing up. He's all over the road. <laughs> okay. If you're listening, RC, on three, we're going to head. 300. Zero, zero. We're gonna go One. max burn and just fly into the sky for Japan. Are you ready? One, two, three. Go, follow me. They'll never see us. We're going to Japan, suckers. I suppose we could have actually shot them down. But never mind, too late. 330. Three, They're like, hey, where are those guys going? Come on, I'll see. Come on, I'll see. It's this way. This way, I'll see. Big old beast. I'm gonna get rid of my weapons. Left control and whiskey. Woohoo! Expensive Putin's missiles. I mean, Khrushchev's missiles. Was it Khrushchev in 1976, RC? Or was it Gorbachev? It's Khrushchev, wasn't it? Right, RC, we are going supersonic. We're going to Japan, baby. Now, the good thing about this is this plane can do over Mark 2.8. So, ain't nothing catching this in the world. Ever. Apart from an SR 71. Okay, it was Breznik. Breznev. Oh, Bre oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Khrushchev was before Brezhnev. Yeah. In the real direction, he had all sorts of problems navigating, but he did get there in the end. We're going to bring out our trusty map. Look, uh, Boris and Yeltsin haven't even seen us yet. Okay, 150 miles, I'll see. Let's see how fast we can get in these things. Might as well test them out, I suppose. First one to find a mark meter gets in my good book. Oh, sweet, the mark meter doesn't work. Brilliant. We bought the only two prototypes that don't have mark meters. Well, we'll work it out. My valued viewers will work it out. Valued viewers, what is that? Uh, 850 knots at 30,000 feet. We're going high. These things can go really high, RC. In fact, they loved going high. Super optimized for high, high, high. 925 knots at 33,000 feet. We're going higher. Ah, in cons. Okay, we're Mark 1.3, which is not bad in a climb. Because we're climbing. I'm finding the canopy extremely reflective. Is that the Aurora Borealis I'm looking at? I don't know, and it's it's not only reflective, it's yes. terrible reflections. It is a bit <laughs> like it is a bit choppy. It choppy is a bit <laughs> It is a bit awkward, isn't it? Yeah, it's, look at that. Makes it difficult to keep an eye on it. It does a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, it's raining out oh there's a bloody storm outside in real life. Oh my god, the Aurora Borealis is giving me all sorts of problems, I see. For navigation. I'm gonna have to fly from the outside. Valued viewers are asking what the fuel consumption is. Probably bad. It's rushing. Bad. 50,000 feet, 930 knots. How fast is that, guys? I think fast. If anyone knows the uh, max ceiling of the MiG 31, uh, 25, I'd love to know. Fuel, fuel. Oh, we've got loads of fuel, RC. 
How do we got so much fuel? Seven tons of fuel, and we're Mach 1.6. We're Mach 1.6, guys. She'll just keep getting faster. These weird lines on my windscreen. Yeah, a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah, I've got. Kind of pretty though. Don't you think it's pretty, RC? Yeah. Oh, here they go. Yeah, we're picking up the radiation from the Hawk Sams. They've got a range of about 30 miles, as you can see there. So we haven't got to worry for a while yet. Uh, we haven't actually talked about how we're going to do this. Should we try dropping down? Like, going above it and dropping down? Because we're already above the max height of the Sam. What do you think about yeah. that, RC? Because maybe they're like dogs and can't look up. <laughs> well, dogs can't look up, can they? I don't know. I've got a cat. Okay, okay we're going to try, valued viewers, for our first attempt. Which will hopefully be oh, our only... Yes, I They can look up now. Yeah. Right, you're a dog man, are you now? Right. Yes. Apparently, we can travel at 78,000 feet in real life with two missiles. We need to climb. Oh, so I'm going to climb now, RC. I'm at 1,100 knots, 50,000 feet. That's like Mark 1.8, Mark 2, maybe. Okay, I'm climbing. Watch this. Also, as we burn fuel off, we're going to get lighter, and that will make us faster. Because reduce induced wing drag. 325 for 80. The stream says that we're Mark 1.9. Well done, stream viewers. You're literally earning your wage. Which is nothing. I see Japan. I see Japan. 60,000 feet, RC. I'm leveling it at 60. I'm going to assume a Hawk Sam can't do 60,000 feet. So what we're going to do, RC, we're going to get above the base. Then we're going to turn our engines off, essentially. And just glide down. Because otherwise we'll over G and die. 322, true for 35. Lovely to have a flight over Japan. I like your Japan lines. You like the realistic Japan lines? It'll probably yeah. fool most viewers out there. They'll probably think that's Japan, I imagine. If I've got my viewer demographic right. I'm locked up. No, I'm locked up. He won't shoot us. I guarantee you 10 bucks he won't shoot us. Told you, broke lock. Ha 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 ha. Silly Japanese man like to play with swords. Okay, I'm on uh, 324 for 17. I'm almost there, I see. At the speed I'm going, I'll be there in about 20 seconds. I'm supersonic, I'll be there in 60 seconds. Who said that line, valued viewers? I'm over it, RC. I am engines down. And I am going straight down. It was not Peter North, it was Maverick and Goose. Oh, God, past it, I got past it! Uh, say. I was looking at the wrong base. Sweet cloud cover, yo. Holy Batman legs. I've lost it. Can you see it? Because I can't see it. Uh, Come on, Victor Belenko. No, it's, it's behind me. Literally just gone past. I've gone right over the island. Ah, why am I so fast? This is going to be problematic. I, now, yeah. I just heard your sonic boom. Wow, this handles like an absolute bucket of bolts, RZ. Oh, brilliant, I'm spiked now. I hope you're happy with yourself. Okay, I'm sort of going towards it. That's the good news. What is our deal? To, lo to land? Yes, we've got to land, I see. That's how you defect. Okay, we've got to land quick as well. We can't do a milsim orbit, if you're thinking about that. Yeah. Maximum speed. I'm getting shot by missile. Maximum missiles. speed. Missile. Nine o'clock high. I'm going to scratch the missile. Over, 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 over. Maximum okay, I'm, speed. I'm fighting the missile. I'm now, at, high. I'm now at 20 feet. Missile, 9 o'clock high. Okay, I'm oh, way too fast. You're going too fast, I see. <laughs> Not me. Maximum speed. Missile, 12 o'clock high. <sighs> Things are happening. Maximum speed. Missile, 12 o'clock low. If I hear missile, I'll shout one more time. Maybe we can run them out of ammo. Over, 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 over. I'll tell you, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Maximum speed. Bitching Betty's trying to tell me something. I've lost the airfield. God damn it, where is it? Oh, there's missiles coming after you. Yep. It really is, isn't there? Maximum speed. Is that the airfield? Tally airfield. Missile. Three o'clock high. Three o'clock is right. That's not the airfield. Are you still alive? Yep. I'm trying to figure out how to land without dying. I've got no missiles after The me. missile just went right past my face. Tally you. I'm going to go in land. I'm doing it. Slow down, slow down, you massive bucket. 
We're going in RC. Where's the frigging runway? Where's the frigging runway? How did you land, RC? There's people shooting at me. Yeah, that's a problem. Run them over. Run them over. It's the Japanese are like that. Oh, the sweet reflections on the HUD are really helping. That's sarcasm, by the way, RC. Has it got a parachute? Uh, I am here. Well done. Uh, you outclassed me. I don't know. I didn't set up a shoot. I'm having a few problems landing, I'm not going to lie. Who is shooting at me? There are men on the runway. Shoot their faces with your wheels. Okay, I'm landing right behind you, RC. Uh, I'm off. I can't move. Can't move? Well, oh, because I'm... Oh, you I put your gear down. Wheels. You put your gear down. Excellent. I'm very proud of you, RC. Don't worry, I'll do it. Okay. It's all right. I came in damaged anyway. That's what's supposed all right, to I'm going to run these guys over. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. One down. Oh, sweet. No damage model. Okay, I'm going to make it to the hangar. I'm going to hide. They do not want me to defect, do they? Where's the hangar, RC? At least one of us can make it out of this tin pot town. I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk? What, with those M1s shooting you? Ah, I'm yeah. taking shots. Get off! They're damaging me! Okay, I'm gonna go hide in the hangar. Comfortable there, RC. Your engines don't look very comfortable. Oh, look at him slide along! Look, he's sliding! He's never slid so well. Uh, can you turn? Can turn with one engine. Yeah. Turn with one engine. How embarrassing for you. No, next time you should land with the wheels out, RC. Right, I'm going to get in the hangar. Actually, I did hit the gear, but but it must not have hit it hard enough. Let's see. Right, well, you can tell your court marshalling officer that, RC. I'm going to go land. I'm still getting shot by douchebags. Don't they leave the friggin' hangars open here? How are the planes going to get in the hangars? Oh, I'm in the dirt. But not a problem with Zuka. They're still hitting me, even here. Oh. They're doing some damage. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yes! No collision model for me. Okay. I'm going up to the CO's office. Oh, watch out for the Nissan Saturn. In fact, I'm going to park in the car park, I'll see. I'll be like, yeah, I'm just defecting. Oh. What a lovely, lovely mission, I'll see. Where did you, do you ever get off the runway? I'm walking. You're slowly going to get shot by a thousand. Uh oh, my MiG's going mad. My MiG's going back in time. Well, I'll see. That was a very realistic version of break uh, the 1976 defection of Viktor Belenko. And you know what? I've just realised we managed to beat four hard mode Hawk Sams by going above them. I've never done this before. Above them, then notch straight down. Well, not a notch, but dive straight down. Then just span in a circle really fast. So all them. I wonder what the attack view will look like. Balls, I'm going to go and find out. Stand by. Sweet. Only the rear guy ejected. Easy for me, because they weren't shooting at me. They were mm, shooting no, at you. No, well, what a surprise. Racism. Okay, let's see what oh, happened. Oh, so, oh, we were at 60,000 feet. We dived down. Wow, RC was Mach 2.2. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, I was diving. That, you know what that was? That was brave. That was just brave. Me, much I more control. I had my engines off, too. I see. Or right. They were down. Oh, there come the missiles. Here come the missiles. Yep, they would just die straight away. Look. Remember, valued viewers, the missiles have to aim in front of us. So if our protected path is in the ground, missile goes boom, boom and dies. Okay, here's one coming out. They are all shooting at me. What is that all about? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, they're going to get really close as well. Don't know why I'm worried. I survived. Aha, uh -huh, I run them out of power. I run them out of speed. Due to the power of the MiG-31... 25! Look how close they got, RC! Oh my god, do you realize how close they got? 
<laughs> they both hit me basically, but like missed. That was lucky. No, I mean skill. Did Much they hit skill. you? No, no, they but they were close. But you know what? That's what happens when you go to church, valued viewers. It will save you from missiles. Look at RC landing like a friggin' boss. Friggin' unbelievable. Until he hasn't got any gear, any M1 soldiers. Kill him by a thousand cuts. So, lesson learned. If you want to defect, probably don't do it like that. But if their country you're defecting to is going to shoot missiles at you, go over them, come straight down, add a bit of luck, the rest is history. Anything you want to add, RC? Nope. Okay, bye-bye.